Welcome back to our guest. Today's question is leak code 1046, the last stone weight. So you're given an array of integers, stones, where stones I is the weight of the I stone. We are playing a game with the stones. On each turn, we choose the heaviest two stones and smash them together. Suppose the heaviest two stones have weights X and Y, where X is less than or equal to Y. The result of this smash is if X is equal to Y, both stones are destroyed. And if they are not equal to each other, the stone of weight X is destroyed and the stone of weight Y has new weight Y minus X. At the end of the game, there is at most one stone left return the weight of the last remaining stone. If there are no stones left, return zero. So in example one, we have this stones array. The output is one, and that is calculated as so. so. We have two of the largest values, which is eight and seven. We extract those, we calculate the difference, which is one, we add that back into the array. So now we have two, four, one, one, one. We extract the two largest values, two and four, we calculate the difference, two, and then we add that back into the array. So we have two, one, one, one. Do the same again, so we remove two and one, calculate the difference, which is one, add it back into the array, we'll have three ones left. And then we remove two ones, calculate the difference, the difference is zero, and when x is equal to y, both the stones are destroyed, so neither are added back in. And then we return the last stone within the array. So with this solution, seen as we are calculating, or seen as we are looking at the two largest values, calculating the difference, adding it back in, a good solution for this would be to utilize heaps. But within JavaScript, there isn't a heap API to use. But thankfully, the leak code provides us with a max priority queue that we can use interchangeably as a heap. So that's what we'll do. So let's run through the solution. Firstly, we need to create a heap. So a heap is a complete binary tree filled from left to right. So this is our heap to start off with. Now we need to convert this into a max heap. And in order to do that, seven needs to flip with two. Once those flip, two needs to flip with eight, and then eight needs to flip with seven. So it'll look something like this. Now this is a max heap. As you can see, each value is greater than its children. The size of this heap is going to be six, and this will be important to keep track of, and you'll see why in a bit. Now we need to remove two largest values, calculate the difference, and then add that back into the heap. So in order to extract eight from this heap, we need to flip it with the last value within the heap. So eight and one are flipped, and now eight can be removed. As you can see, this is no longer a max heap, so we need to convert it into a max heap. So seven flips with one, then one will flip with two. Now we have a max heap, we remove the largest value. So seven flips with one. And then seven can be removed. We need to update this now to make sure that it's a max heap. And now we calculate the difference between these two, which is one, and we add that back into the heap. Size is now at five. Now we can just repeat the process. So we grab the two largest values, so four is flipped with one, and then four is removed. So if we can go here, we convert this into a max heap, and then we remove this largest value. So this is flipped with one down here, and then removed. Now we calculate the difference between these two, which is two, and we add this back into the heap. So this is going to be added here, then we convert it into a max heap. The size is now four. We get the two largest values, two and one. Calculate the difference, which is equal to one, add that back into the heap. Now the size has been decremented to three. We take out the two largest values, which is one and one. The difference here is zero. So nothing gets added back into the heap. So we're left with one. Size is now equal to one. And as soon as size is equal to one, we can return the value that is within the heap. If size is equal to zero, however, we just return zero. And that is the basic structure of this solution. Time complexity here is going to be O and then log N where it takes n operations to create the heap, and then log n operations to create the max heap, and then dequeuing and onqueuing. So adding and removing from the heap is also going to be log n operations. So time complexity in total will be n log n. And then space complexity is going to be o n, where we're storing n nodes within our heap. So like we said in the solution walkthrough, we're going to be using what leak code provides us with, and that's max priority queue, and we'll be using this interchangeably as a heap. So let's Initialize that. Now we need to build this max priority queue or this max heap. So const stone of stones heap dot on queue and we're going to queue the stone. Now we need to create a while loop that checks heap size. So as long as heap is greater than one 
we'll calculate the difference of the two largest values within the heap. So we need to DQ from heap in order to get the first largest value. And we do this by saying heap.dq.element. And we do that again to grab the second largest element. And then as long as the difference is greater than zero, we can onqueue back into the heap. So we can add that difference back into the heap. Then lastly, we need to have a condition in order to determine what we're going to return. If heap size is equal to zero, we just return zero. Else we want to return the first element within the heap. We do this by saying heap.front.element. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go.